This technique is called the technique of dating star clusters. If we want to know how old the star cluster is, one of the things we can do is just visually look at it and see are there any blue stars in there? If not, then generally it's going to be an old cluster. There's only red stars, you know. But if we want to be a little bit more specific about it, we can take a sampling of the stars in that cl cluster and we, we can now plot them on the HR diagram. So we can take those stars, plot them on the HR diagram, and then this is kind of the picture that we might end up with. So let's say you took a star cluster and you did a plot of the stars in there. So let's say you had a cluster. It had something like about a 50 or stars, 50 stars or something. Or it maybe it even has more stars, but you take a sample of 50 of them and then you start plotting them. And you go like that on the HR diagram. And then what they notice here is that a lot of the stars in the cluster are still on the mean sequence. They haven't died. And then they begin noticing, okay, there are some stars there that are, that are uh, starting to die. Okay, so there are super giants, and then there are ones that are really, really super giants. You know, they're really lar large. So something like that. Okay, this gives you indication of how old that star, uh, the star cluster is. This this point they call it the turnoff point. This star is just about to run out of fuel. You see, so this is the turnoff point. These more massive stars have used up their core hydrogen and have left the main sequence. You see these guys here? And then also these guys. Less massive stars of the cluster have unburned fuel. They remain on the main sequence still. Okay? So suppose we're comparing two clusters. And I'm going to draw the picture of the other cluster now. You tell me which one is older cluster. Cluster B or cluster A? Which cluster is the older one? Okay, and the answer is B. You see? Why B? Because more stars have died. You see? They're, they're on their way of dying. And there are less stars that have remained as main sequence. See? This one is older. And then that's your turnoff point. So one, one way we can say it is the lower the turnoff point, the older the cluster. You see? So this is more likely to be a globular cluster. Globular cluster. Or even if it is an open cluster, it's a very old open cluster. You see? So it's either a globular or very old open cluster. But more likely globular. This might be more likely open. Okay? Because it still has a lot of young stars. It still has a lot of blue uh, stars that are shining, you see? More likely open. This is more likely globular, but maybe very old open. Let's see if we look at this one. See here, colors indicate number of star per point. Look at how many stars they're plotting. They take a star cluster. You could have literally thousands and thousands. And what they do is they determine the properties of each one with a computer. And then the computer starts plotting them on the HR diagram. It's a computer generated image. Do, 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 you see? And then from there, they can get an estimate of how old that cluster is. You see? The super giants are here, giants are here then the main sequence, and so on. And then they start making plots of those of different clusters. 
the cluster M67, the cluster NGC752, Praesipi, Hyades, Coma, M11, M41, Pleiades, okay? So if we take, for example, M67, you see, M67, actually it is open. So it's probably a very old open cluster. You see, very old open. And we can compare, uh, let's see here. Praecipi, Hyades, Coma, M11. M11, you've got this one. Uh, it looks like this says M11 too here. So it's got here M11 and M11 here. If you go back to the chart, the Messier catalog, is M11 open or? It says open still, yeah. M11 is open. Well, if this is open, and this is younger than that, it should be open, you know. These ones look like they should all be open. How about M41? Does that say open? Pleiades. Pleiades was open, I think, yeah? M40, uh, Pleiades is M45, right? M41, those are all open. So we believe this one here, uh, they're all showing open clusters. The globular clusters would look more like this. So they would, they would have a lower turnoff point. Like that, like that, like that, like that, you see? Only red stars down here. So these ones are all open, okay? So the turnoff point of a cluster is based on the highest mean sequence star that it contains. That's the point that I'm talking about here. It's the highest star in there that hasn't started dying yet, okay? Star clusters with a high turnoff point are young. And that's what I said again here. The higher up here, they could be maybe from uh, 1 million years old to 100 million years old and are therefore more likely, I'm actually pretty sure, they should be associations or open clusters. Clusters with a low turnoff point are old, okay, the lower they are, Okay, down here, and therefore they're likely to be 1 to 10 billion years old. They can't be much older than 10 billion because the universe only started 13 billion years ago. Okay? About 10 billion years uh, is the, probably the oldest you can have. So stars with a low turnoff point are old and are globular clusters. Okay, now we go to the Milky Way. 